This is Terry Grover from Terry Grover Computer Consulting in Portland, Maine. Many of my clients are interested in creating a simple budget so that they can keep track on the computer of all of their expenses and their income. They may not be ready to buy a program such as Quicken. It might be a little bit too expensive. It might be a little bit more than they need. They need something simple. So let's get to work. Open up Excel on your computer. This is the 2010 version. Up in the upper left hand corner you see the file menu here. I'm going to click file and then new. Excel like all of the office programs comes equipped with many templates. You can see all of the different categories here. Right now I'm going to click on budgets. Most of my clients are interested in home budgets so let's start there. Notice that if I click on each one of these, it's going to show me a little tiny picture of what it might look like. Maybe we're planning a wedding. That would be kind of neat. Maybe we're a college student. Or maybe we just need something fairly simple. A personal worksheet that will encompass the entire year in one sheet. Notice up here the rating. I always take a look at the rating because if something doesn't have a good rating, it means that many people have tried it and a lot of them haven't liked it very well. This one has a great rating, so I'm going to click Download. Look at this. Excel has already created the entire spreadsheet for us. Notice that it has every month of the year. It has a title. It has income with a few different categories of income. And then it has expenses, and the expenses go all the way down. There's a lot here. You may need some of it. You may need, may not need other things. So very quickly, I'd like to show you how to personalize this. First of all, in Excel, if you click in any cell, you'll notice that it gets outlined like this and that the words are above you, right in this function area here. So if I want to call this my personal budget, I could call it Terry's personal budget. And if I wanted to select the text, change the font, change the color, any of those things, I can do those, just like I do in Word. Here under Income, it says Wages, Interest, debit, Dividends, and Miscellaneous. You may have other categories you'd like to add. If you're retired, for example, instead of wages, you might make this Social Security. So I'm going to wipe this out and put in Social Security. You see? Now what if I have another category I want to add? All I have to do is click in the number next to the row that I want to add, which is underneath where I want to add. Right click and then say insert. Notice how another row goes right up where I had the other one. And all I have to do is simply add another category here. So up here, I might say, for example, part-time wages, even if I were retired. The other thing here I want you to notice is, is that these all say zero. If I put a zero in there, it would format the exact same way as the first one, because this is all set. They've already put in the formats. Down here, notice how this has added everything from the year. It says equals sum from B5, which is B5, all the way to M5. So what I want to do here is I want to copy that formula to this row. I click on the formula. I click copy at the top. Notice how now it's kind of buzzing. I click on the cell where I want the copy to be copied, and I simply press Enter. Now, notice that this one says sum equals sum, adding up of B6 to M6. That's all there is to copying the formula. So let's go down to the expenses. Again, go through each one of these. Think about the kinds of expenses you have. Take out the ones that you don't want. If I want to take out a row, I simply click on the number again, right click and say delete and that row will go away at the end of the year at the very bottom you're going to notice 
these columns for total expenses, total for the year, and it even tells you whether you had income or shorts. In other words, did you have more income than expenses or vice versa? And that's all there is to creating a simple budget using Excel. Thanks so much, and I'll see you again soon.